Hello, this is Kelly from Brew Pursuit Junk Journals. And today I have my sewing machine out and came up with this idea at the retreat and was playing around with it. i taking this uh, bias tape. This is, for instance, like uh, extra or double wide, extra, it does say extra wide, bias tape. Here's another one, uh, bias tape. So it's not seam binding, it's just like uh, this stuff that's folded over and used for hems and bindings. <laughs> I have a bunch of it and I've got my machine all threaded up. I thought I would just sew, I have these fun stitches. I have this Project Runway brother sewing machine. I'm so happy with this machine, way better than my other one. Anyway, so I'm just going ahead and making little stitches. I'm going to try a different stitch than what I had, and then I'll show you. I'll just give it a go. We'll show you different samples that I made at the retreat. A little like fabric borders, essentially. This is, I ended up choosing what is on mine as uh, 41, which is like a leaf pattern. And then I just kind of Put that on there. I picked a tan thread on here. So this is one piece that I ended up with. I'm trying to put it there. Uh, it's black thread and tan, tan bias tape. And I thought this would look really good with a Tim Holtz items miscellany. And then I also ended up, <laughs> I dropped it, uh, putting in this. It's almost like a rainbow thread. And I think that is so pretty. See if I can get it to, there we go, maybe this way. Woo, there, that's better. So there is that stuff, very pretty. Um, I had quite a bit of that stuff. Um, I did do quite a few more, but I just, because I was at the retreat, I just divided them up and uh, just finished this up really quick. And then you can see this next one. And then I'll talk about the thread and the stitches. Ooh, you can do it. Yeah. Cut these little threads. So this is what I did with the leaves. It, like I said, it's a tan thread and the brown wide, extra wide bias tape. So uh, very cute. And In interestingly, my bobber, bobbin, my bobber, we're not fishing here. Come on. <laughs> my bobbin it still has that rainbow thread in the back so honestly you might be able to just turn it around and uh, use that side so that's uh, kind of a nice little bonus but this thread I've had for a long time I'm running low on it but I'm pretty sure I have an extra of it and I have just loved it forever and they still I know I've seen it at Walmart so they have a couple different flavors of it so you can check that out if you're interested here i'll do a ooh, close up multicolor yeah different shades of it so um it looked very rainbowy on just the white bias tape that i did i stitch it on it was very bright and colorful and lovely uh what else I was gonna say something about the thread. Oh, the stitches. So <laughs> on this particular one, the more complicated stitches, they take a lot longer. So some of them, uh, I ended up switching to like this stitch, which which I think this stitch looks a little bit more um, antique rather than, rather than uh, um, modern. So, not only was it more antique looking, but it was also a little bit better. Um, quicker is what I'm trying to say. So I'm, let's see, I've got tan on there. I think pink might look good with tan. There's not much on this one. I've got two of these. I'll just do this pink one. Because why not? I could do pink. I like this sage color. I have a ton more of these because I generally like to collect them. But they're... Um, missing in action in the craft room. So <laughs> let me just tell you that 
the reason how this came to be is there was a bag, this baggie full of bias tape at the retreat in our D stash pile. And I was just, I had my sewing machine out and then it occurred to me that, uh, yeah, that they, uh, this would be a really good use for this, uh, whatever, bias tape, yeah. Because I, you know, I use the seam binding all the time and the seam binding is that little silky, thin uh, ribbon that you can use to, for journal closures. But this stuff doesn't really work for journal closures. So, yeah, that looks, I like that leaf design. So I did the leaf design, oh, that other one kind of shows through it gives it sort of a different effect on there maybe I'll just do a close up so you have to see. yeah it's a little closer so that stitching on the back because it's darker oh I'm not even paying attention to what I'm so oh it's all good it was sewing fine <laughs> I'm just talking away could have been going off on in nowhere's land and I wouldn't have known okay uh, what other stitch might be um, interesting to try that isn't stitch uh, heavy? Maybe the 16. Let me try that. Da, da, da. We'll try it. Because when I stick, I can change stitches halfway through and it doesn't matter because I'll just snip it off at that point and then I've got another. My foot isn't even all the way down. Okay, now it is. But it's kind of relaxing to just sit here and, and let it stitch and kind of guide it along. Okay, so we made it to the end. So as soon as this finishes up, then I'm just going to show you what we've got. as well just leave it close up so this was that tan stitching on the pink bias I kind of like that stitch okay try not to I did quite a ways of that quite a ways and then um, this stitch I didn't like this stitch as much try to get it up closer but it doesn't uh, care for that and on the back it it looks kind of funky but not not ideal so I, I didn't do that one for very long. Uh, there's this one, which almost looks like an EKG or something. <laughs> How's that look on the back? Pretty cool. Actually, the back looks pretty cool. And how far did I go with that? It makes you dizzy, it turns out. And then from here to here was the leaf. And, and of course, the leaf looks good on the back. Not all the stitches look as good on the back as they do on the front, but leaf definitely does okay so that's my little idea so if you've got a lot of bias tape that you've collected just because you're like me and you collect random vintage things <laughs> this uh maybe you'll have a little fun with it I, i've got packages to unwrap that i never unwrapped before and then i also had to find different colors and it'll be fun to you know do different uh things this one's so skinny um, this one might be fun to play around with. I don't know. It's pretty skinny. I do like that. I'm going to go see if I also have more of that rainbow thread, which I think I do. I'm pretty sure I do. So these are, these are the ones that we ended up with. And I say they're pretty cool. I'm, I'm really happy. It's, oh, what are you going to do with these? Yeah. So I would just normally like cut this off, put it on the edge of a page, at the top of a pocket, anywhere in your journal that you might put a little bit of decorative lace or something like that. So you could even put it on a um, cluster. You could put it on a cluster, which one of my, the retreat people did with theirs. They put it on a little cluster. I did a navy with the rainbow and that one looked really cool too, but I gave it all away. 
So, oops. <laughs> All right, well, I'm probably gonna play with this some more, but um, I, I'm signing off now. So as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.